Hi everyone, this is Raghuram, Aptitude Trainer. Last video we have seen some tips in speed maths. Uh, now in this video we shall see some more tips in speed maths. Now let us see the multiplication of two numbers which are uh, between 10 to 20. I'll randomly take uh, 13 into 17 which is nearer to 10. How much is uh, greater? Plus 3 plus 7. So cross addition that is 13 plus 7 is same as 4, 17 plus 3. So both are what? 20. And 7 3s are 21. Here we need only one digit. So I'm, that's why I am writing 2 above 0. So 221 is the multiplication of 13 into 17. Like this we can take up. another example 12 into 16. We take same base 10 plus 2 plus 6. Cross addition 12 plus 6 or 16 plus 2. Both are same 18. 6 2s are 12. So we need only one digit. So answer is 192 is the multiplication of 12 into 16. U using this method we can find some more squares like this. So I want to find a 125 square. So previous uh, video we have seen the square of uh, the numbers end with 5. So which ends with 25. We need 12 and next number is 13. 12 13. Mm -hmm. We have plus same method 12 into 13 base is 10 and plus 2 plus 3 cross addition 12 plus 3 is 15 and 3 2 is 6 156 so here 156 so 125 square is 15,625 like this we can find for 145 square 145 square which ends with 25 we need 14 next number 15 14 into 15 so 14 into 15 base is 10 and plus 4 plus 15 and 14 plus 5 same as 15 plus 4 which is 19 and 5 fours are 20 <clears throat> so 0 11 2 10 so 14 into 15 is 2 10 so 2 1 0 so for 145 square is 21,025 like this we can find 195 square also here the last two digits are 25 we need to find 19 into 20 which is very easy 380 so 195 square is 38,025 now we shall see the multiplication of uh, numbers from 90 to 110 so first we shall take uh, now, uh, num two numbers from 100 to 110 I'll take 103 multiplied by 106 randomly I'm taking here also we take 100 as base 103 is how much bigger than 100 plus 3 106 how much bigger than 100 is plus 6 ok here also same way we have seen 10 to 20 multiplication of two numbers from 10 to 20 so cross addition same so 103 plus 6 is same as 106 plus 3 which is nothing but 109 and 6 3s are 18 here we can have two digits because if you take 10 as base, we need only one digit, only one zero there, and here two zeros, so we can have two digits. So the answer is 10,980. Now I'll take another example, 102 into we shall take uh, randomly 109. So here also we take 100 as base, 102 is uh, more than uh, 102, 100 above plus 2, and 109 plus 9 cross addition 102 plus 9 is 111 one, one. One and 9 to the 18 so the answer is 11,118 ok like this we can also take uh, numbers from 90 to 100 so two numbers 97 multiplied by 94 randomly I am taking two numbers and multiplication 100 so 97 is how much lesser minus 3 and 94 is minus 6 so 97 the cross in, uh, sub, uh, subtraction so 94 minus 3 is uh, 91 the same 97 minus 6 is also 91 do any one of them so 91 and 6 3 is a 18 so 9118 is the multiplication of 97 into 94 like this uh, we can take another number 92 multiply by 99 here also 100 base and 92 is uh, 8 lesser than 100 and 9, 99 is 1 lesser than 100 so cross 
subtraction 92 minus 1 is 91 same as 99 minus is 91 and 8 ones are 8 we need two digits that's why I'm taking 08 like this we can um, do multiplication of two numbers from 100 to 110 and 90 to 100 we can also have the multiplication of uh, one number 90 to 100 and another number 100 to 110 let us see that one now <clears throat> I'll take randomly a number 96 and one number below 100 90 to 100 and another number above 100 one out of uh, randomly I'll take 107 and 100 and 96 is uh, 4 less than 100 and 107 is 7 greater than 100 here also cross addition or multiplication 96 uh, plus 7 is 103 or 9, 107 minus 4 is also 103 do any one of them which one is easy so 107 minus 4 is easy so 103 and 7 fours are 28 we should not add 28 put to two zeros and subtract 28 because the previous two examples that is uh, two numbers from 100 to 110 both are positive plus into plus is plus so addition and two numbers from 90 to 100 both are negative minus minus and minus plus both can be uh, can be done addition so here minus into plus is minus we have to subtract how do we subtract this one so just one or three just put one or two we do back forward not backward from, uh, we, we don't do the school levels like uh, 0 minus 8 to taking 10 from this so we don't do like this so 1 or 3 just put 1 or 2 so we are subtracting 100 directly and 100 minus 28 can easily be written 72 that is 100 minus 28 first 100 minus 30 is 70 and plus 2 so like this we can do it so the answer is 10,272 is the multiplication of this number now we shall see the numbers uh, uh, whose difference is 2 that is a leash number I'll take a leash number 7 into 9 which is uh, which is very easy 7 9 are 63 we know it I'll take known number known multiplication using using a, a different method so if the if we want to multiply two numbers whose difference is 2 first to take the mid value what's the mid value 8 get 8 square 64 so minus 1 what is 64 minus 1 60 that's the answer so I have taken a leash value now let us take a, a bigger value so let us take a 34 multiplied by 36 seems to be hard but very easy what's the mid number so there are two numbers and whose difference is 2 we can have only one mid value what's the mid value 35 and get the square of that one so we know the shortcut to find 35 the numbers end with the 5 so last two digits are 25 and 3 next number is 4 3 fours are 12 12 25 minus 1 is 12 24 so get the mid value square and subtract 1 so 34 into 36 is 1224 like this we can do it another number 49 into 51 and which is nothing but mid value is 50 square 50 square is 2500 and minus 1 is 2499 and another number uh, 97 into 99 so we take the mid value 98 square what is 98 square so we take 100 as base minus 2 98 minus 2 is 96 2 square is 4 so minus 1 is what is multiplication 9603 like this we can multiply the numbers whose difference is 2 so if you know the squares uh, uh, squares of numbers up to 125 and above 125 also we have seen so if you know the squares the, uh, we can do the multiplication of two numbers whose difference is 2 now we shall see some numbers uh, squares of numbers so some more methods are some more tips are there now we have already seen the square of numbers uh, whose digit end with the 5 we have some uh, tips uh, whose numbers end with the 1 4 5 6 9 if it is 0 we can usually uh, do the square that is if they end it with the uh, 0 30 square is what 3 square is 9 double 0 that can be easily do so 
we have some methods the squares of some numbers whose uh, ends with 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 we have these methods 5 is already over and 1 and 6 are same methods and 4 and 9 are same methods so first we shall see 1 and 6 now we shall see the squares of some numbers uh, whose ends with the 1 and 6 so 1 or 6 so before that we must know uh, one thing I'll take a small number 8 square that is 64 we know it but I'll take the 8 um, before that is 7 square what is 7 square? 49 and for 49 add 7 as well as 8 that is add 15 we get 64 that is the square of 8 so to find the square of any number suppose a 56 square and we can find a 55 square plus 55 plus 56 like this we can do it ok now we shall see the numbers using this uh, we can find the uh, squares of some numbers whose ends with 1 and 6 first let us see 1 so let us take a 21 square to find the 21 square first we get the 20 square is 400 and 20 plus 21 that is previous number square plus previous number plus present number so that is 441 that is very easily we can do it and let us take 41 square what is 41 square? 40 square is 1600 plus 40 plus 41 that is 1681 like this we can multiply so let us take 81 square first 80 square is what? 6400 and here we can also do instead of adding 80 plus 81 First 80 double. What is 80 double? 160 and plus 1. Here also we can do it. First 20 square 400. 20 double 40 plus 1. 41. Like this. Here also 40 square is 1600. 40 double is 81. So 80 plus 1. So we get it. Like this 80 double is 160 plus 1. So what do we get? 65, 61. 6561. Like this we can find the squares <coughs> of numbers whose ends with 1. And same method we apply the number squares of numbers ends with 6. So let us find 26 square. So first what do we do? Previous number 25 square is. So we know we have a shortcut way. 25 square is 25. 2 next number is 2 3 is 6. 6 25. 6 25. 625 25 double is 50 plus 1 so previous number double plus 1 so so what do you get 5 plus 1 6 5 plus 2 7 6 76 so 26 square is 676 76 like this uh, let us take a bigger number 46 square so 46 square we need 45 square so last to 2 this is 25 and 4 next number is 5 4 5 are 20 2025 plus 45 previous number 45 double is 90 plus 1 so what do you get 5 plus 1 6 9 plus 2 11 so 2116 is the square of 40. Like this we can find the squares of some numbers whose ends with 6. If it ends with 6 we can find the previous number. Previous number ends with 5. We apply that method. The number squares of the numbers end with 5. And we continue. Now I told you we can we have a methods 1 whose ends with 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. So 5 already we have seen in the previous video. So now we have seen 1 and 6 the same procedure. And we apply now we shall see 4 and 9. The squares of numbers whose ends with 4 or 9. Now let us see the squares of numbers whose ends with 4. So randomly I will take 24 square. 
So to find 25, 24 square, I'll take the previous number 25 square. What's the 25 square? 625. And instead of subtracting minus 25, minus 24. So next number and present number, we have to subtract. So instead of doing that one, what's the next number 24? Next number is 25. 25 double is 50. First to subtract 50 and add 1. Okay. So here 625 minus 50 is 570, 575. And plus 1 is 576. That is the square of 24. And let us take another example. 576. And 84 square. To find 84 square, first we let us find 85 square. What is 85 square? The digits end with 25. And 8 next number is 9. 8 9 is 72. So 7225 is the square of 85. And 85 double. So first we subtract. Instead of subtracting 85 minus 84, the easiest way is 85 double is 170. First to subtract 170 and add 1. Okay, so last digit 1, we can have a 6, definitely 6. Okay, so we have to subtract 170. So, so to subtract 170, first 722 5 minus 170. First I will subtract 200 plus 30. That's very easy and add, we can have add, adding 1. So 225 minus 200 is what? 7 0 2 5 and adding 30 and what do you get 7 0 5 5 here 7 0 5 6 so we apply some uh, different methods to uh, add subtract so 7 2 2 5 subtracting minus 7 170 is uh, somewhat hot so first uh, minus 200 here itself we can do it to explain I have written like this but here itself we can do it 7 2 2 0 first minus 200 7 0 2 5 add 30 7 0 3 5 instead of 5 so the numbers end with 4 the last digit will be definitely 6 so right last digit is 6 and so 56 we get like this now let us do the squares of numbers whose uh, last digit is 9 let us take uh, randomly 19 square so, the, uh, if the next number square is easy, we can apply the same procedure whose numbers end with 4. So, first, what is the next number? 20 square. First, to find the 20 square is 400 minus, what is the next number? Double is 40 and add 1. So, as we have seen, the numbers end with 4, the last digit will be 6. Here, the last digit is definitely 1. So, 400 minus 40 is 360 and adding 1 we get 1 so like this we can do it and next example I'll take a bigger number 79 square so to find 79 square first we take 80 square what is 80 square 8 square is 64 and double 0 and 80 double is minus 160 plus 1 last digit definitely 1 the numbers end with 9, the last digit will be 1. So we have to 6400 and minus 160. So what do we do? First minus 200 plus 40. So here I will explain 2400 minus 200 plus 40. That is the easy way. 6400 minus 200 is 6200 and plus 40 is like this. So 6240 last digit will be 1. So to subtract, no need to write like this. Just to explain, have written. Here itself we can do it. 6400 minus 200 is 6200 plus 40. 6240 and last digit will be 1. Like this we can do the squares of numbers whose last digit is 9. In next video we shall see some more tips in Speedmax. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Click on bell icon for my new videos notifications. Okay, thank you for watching.